Hello folks and welcome to that screencast, Danny here. In today's video I'm going to be showing you the application Safe Wallet. Now Safe Wallet is a great utility for storing your passwords and important information. Now you can get this application for Mac and PC and also just about any mobile device, that being iPhone, Android, Blackberry, Windows Phone 7 and a few other devices. So let's get straight to the video and I'll show you the application in more detail. So in this video I'm going to be focusing on the actual Mac version and iPhone version of Safe Wallet. Now I was actually talking to the developer about the other versions of this application on other platforms and then what the differences were and I definitely recommend going to the website and checking that out. But I've been a user of the Mac version for quite a while and I've got to say I do love the application. It has, it's very useful and I love the, the actual design of it overall. As you can see you can also get the actual application for Android, Blackberry, Symbian, WebOS and also Windows and Windows Phone 7. So this application is truly multi-platform and definitely worth checking out. So I've launched the application for the first time and now we need to create a new wallet. Now what is a wallet? Well a wallet allow, allows you to basically somewhere to store your passwords in within Safe Wallet. So you can have multiple wallets. So this could be useful if you want to perhaps have a business wallet with all your business passwords in then a separate wallet for all your personal details or if you've got multiple people using that computer you all can have your own wallet with each of your passwords in them. So let's create a new wallet. So I'm going to call this wallet Danny but you can call it anything you want obviously and we'll password it. I recommend you password your wallet um, stop anyone just accessing your wallets within Safe Wallet. Now my wallet has now been created so as you can see within my wallet there's actually folders which helps me better organize my passwords and details I wish to keep saved within Safe Wallet. So what I'm going to do is create a new folder. So we'll call this folder Internet. This is where I'm going to store some of my internet related passwords and account details etc. So as you can see that folder has now been created. So now I'm going to store my first password within Safe Wallet. So we're going to store it in the internet folder which I've created and now I'm going to choose a card template. Now this is basically you look, look for what best matches this password you're going to actually save. So for example, I'm going to actually go for Facebook. I'm going to save my Facebook password within this application. So I'm going to use the website template at the bottom, the website card, like so. And now I can actually start filling in some of the information. So as you can see, we'll name it, and we'll name it Facebook. URL, so that's the address. So let's go for Facebook.com. So now I'm going to add all my login details for Facebook. Now this is all obviously going to be fake for purpose of this video. I can obviously add a note if I wish to. Like so. And I can save it. And once it's saved, I can then obviously access this information anytime I need it. Now as you can see the password is hidden and this obviously stops anyone from looking over your shoulder getting a look at your passwords but if I want to see it I can just alt click and it will reveal it then alt click again to hide it. So as you can see I've got my Facebook details all saved just for in future if I ever forget them. What is really handy about this if, you're, if you've got a lot of email accounts a lot of you a lot of social networks and that you really shouldn't be using the same password for every um, account and a lot of people do that because it's easy to just remember the one password but when you do that you actually basically make it easier for hackers because once they've found out your password for one social network they know it for every other and they know it for your email account so it's best to have a different one for every social network, every email account, every shopping site or whatever it may be but the problem with that is then you've got a lot more passwords to remember and it can be really difficult to remember that. So this is where something like Safe Wallet can come in very handy because you can have a different password for all these websites and so on. But if you then forget them in the future, you forget the password for a particular site, you've always got it on your computer there if you need to know it. So we've added Facebook. Let's add our actual email account now. So I'm going to go back to the website again and use that template. And we're going to call this email. I'm going to choose a different icon this time go for this one which is a letter, that will be good for email URL, so I don't know, we'll just call this Gmail this time we can actually edit some of these fields if we wish so for example if I don't want to call it login I'll just call it email address 
like so. So we'll put my email address in. And then we can obviously choose a password. Again, this will just be a fake password. And I can save that. So as you can see, another password has been saved to Safe Wallet. And again, if I want to view this, I can just go Alt click and it will reveal the password. I can go Alt click again to hide it. So I've got Safe Wallet quit now, and I'm just going to quickly show you me using it to actually remember a password. So as you can see, I'm about to log into Facebook, but let's say I've not been on it for a long time and I can't actually remember the actual password or even username. What I can do is I can actually open up Safe Wallet, like so, and it's going to ask me for the password for my actual wallet. So obviously I can remember that, so I'm going to type that in. So now I can go to the store password for Facebook, like so. So what I can go to is copy to clipboard icon here and it will actually copy it to my clipboard and paste it into Facebook and I can go to copy and copy the actual password into my clipboard and then just paste that into Facebook and then I can log in really quickly. So let's go back to Safe Wallet. Also another feature within Safe Wallet is it actually got a password generator which will allow you to generate random passwords. Now random passwords are generally a lot more secure than normal passwords what people use because it is just random letters, lowercase, uppercase and random numbers and they're usually very secure but problem with them is they're really hard to remember and no one obviously can remember a random password so what you then need to do is obviously have it written down on a bit of piece of paper something like that but that can always be lost or someone can find it and that's not a great idea obviously within Safe Wallet that's something you can have done, you can generate the password and then you can have it saved in Safe Wallet for whenever you need it. Great way to be secure. Also you've got the option to sync Safe Wallet on the Mac with your mobile devices. And you just go up to the Sync Manager and you can obviously start syncing. Now you've got iOS devices, Android phone and WebOS. And they're the options to sync with and you just hit on Sync and it will sync with Safe Wallet assuming you've got that running on your mobile device. Also there's the option to keep all your devices in sync using Dropbox if you would prefer and that's something I personally do use and I find it a good way to keep my passwords sync on my iPhone and also on my Mac. So as you can see um, SafeWallet is a great application to store some of your passwords. This can be for shopping websites, social networks, email accounts etc. But it doesn't have to be limited to that type of thing. You can also store other information such as you maybe a password for your locker at work, maybe passwords for your safe at home. Also, it doesn't need to be just passwords. You can also save a lot of other information to Safe Wallet. It's just a great way to keep important information safe. Saves you writing things down or having a box with loads of paper working or a file with loads of paper working. You can have it all on the computer. And with it having the search functionality built into it, you can search for anything you're looking for very fast and much easier than raking through a box of paperwork. So some of the other things we can uh, save on here, we can put on contact details, card information, bank accounts, credit cards, driving license, emergency, emergency contacts, um, health insurance policies, ID card, insurance policies, um, internet providers, notes, passwords, passports. And these are just the default templates, but you can obviously create your own. So any information you wish to store within Safe Wallet, you can do. And you know it's going to be encrypted and it's going to be safe on your computer so no one else can find it and access it. So I'm just going to quickly show you the iPhone version very quickly. iPhone version is very similar to obviously Safe Wallet on the Mac. So this is Safe Wallet on the iPhone. And I'm just going to quickly show you it because I don't want this video to go on any longer. I know it's been a little bit too long. So just type in my password here. And as you can see this is my actual personal wallet what I've been using and I've got quite a few passwords stored already. And I'll quickly just make a new one to show you it so we can create a new folder. And we can obviously create a new card if we wish. And you can have multiple folders within folders if you need to. And as you can see, it's again very similar to, to what we saw on the Mac. Uh, pretty much all the customization you would expect. Very similar. 
No, no, um, no real limitation on the iPhone version compared to the Mac. You're pretty much getting the same application with a slight different UI, but not too dissimilar. And um, I'll leave that there. You get an idea that the iPhone version, again, is very good. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below to the developer's website where you're able to purchase these applications and download them for your particular device. Also, if you like this video, then please do subscribe and also give it a thumbs up. Much appreciated. Also, if you wish, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash appscreencast. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you later. Goodbye. So on to the giveaway. Now, the developer was kind enough to donate 10 applications for giveaway. Now, the way I'm going to do it is there's going to be five prizes, and if you win one of them prizes, you will get a um, safe wallet for your Mac or PC and safe wallet for your mobile devices. So you'll be winning two applications if you're lucky enough to be a winner. Now there will be five prizes like I've just said and to have a chance of winning you need to make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video and also make sure you comment below. If you do that you will be entered into the giveaway. So this giveaway will be lasting for a few weeks and if you win then I'll contact you through YouTube to let you know and you obviously can tell me which versions of the applications you need. So thanks for watching this video everyone and I'll see you later. Goodbye.